Good morning. We promise to keep you as updated as possible on any possible impact from COVID-19 on pets. Over the past few days, there have been reports of the first two pet cats in the U.S. testing positive for the virus, as well as additional large cats at the Bronx Zoo. It is important to emphasize that these occurrences are exceedingly rare or under very specific conditions and that there is no evidence that pets play a role in the pandemic. As we stated weeks ago, some animals seem to serve as rare dead end hosts, meaning that the virus dies in them and that they are not a source of infection to people. No pets have died as a result of the virus that causes COVID-19. Here's what we still know. While they're still very rare, cats and ferrets seem to be more susceptible to the virus and dogs seem to be less frequently affected. All seem to recover fully. The virus that causes COVID-19 in people was found in two pet cats in New York from separate households and both cats are expected to recover fully. In both cases, the cats are thought to have contracted the virus from a previously infected person in the household or the environment as one cat was an outdoor cat. Two confirmed pets in the US and in New York City, literally the epicenter of infection, out of potentially thousands after all this time and during a time when laboratories and veterinarians are on the lookout for it, is a very good sign. There may be a few more sporadic cases reported as the pandemic continues, but we should all be seeing these low numbers as confirmation that pet infections are rare and that pets pose very little risk to us. Our message remains consistent at Just Food for Dogs with respect to coronavirus and pets. If you practice social distancing from others and include your pets in the same way, there is essentially zero chance they will bring this virus into your household. This is not a virus that prefers pets. This is a human virus. If you are infected, limit your contact with people and pets. If your pet is already exposed, keep him isolated with you. If your pet is sick, call your veterinarian to see if he actually needs to be treated or seen at the clinic. If the pet of someone with COVID-19 has to go to a veterinary clinic for medical care, let the clinic know about the household status and take precautions to reduce the risk of exposing other people and animals. Finally, there is also an update from the Bronx Zoo released yesterday about additional large cats testing positive for the virus. It is believed they caught it from their handler who was already infected. If you're interested, I recommend visiting their website and monitoring it, but the conditions are very different in the zoo and we don't expect the same type of spread among pets. In fact, in one of the cases of the two pet cats, uh, there is another cat in the household that is still infection free. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy with your pets.